What is going on everyone and welcome back to more Black Desert. So today we have a special video. We are currently on the Global Labs and this time around they actually gave access to basically everyone. Um, so there's like an event window on some like post that they made on the official site where if you just signed up or something you would get access to, to Global Labs and you get to try out the Wusa that's coming in a few days. So I think it's awesome that they allowed everyone to get access this time around instead of just partners and other content creators. And um, yeah, so what I wanted to do is split up this video into multiple parts. Um, <clears throat> one, I wanted to go through all the skills and just show you what it's all about. I don't think there's awakening or succession yet because it's, we're probably still working on it. But what I could show you is the skills that are currently available and i guess show you what else is coming um i really just logged on i just want to see what all the skills look like i didn't really want to spoil myself too much and i assume a lot of you guys don't want to spoil yourself either but apparently this is the new uh costume or the outfit that comes with it so let's just see what it looks like um so i'm not really going to do any combat in this video i'm just going to show you the skills and like i think that might be cool so that's a pretty cool outfit by default. Um, so yeah, if you guys have not caught up with the Calfion Ball and you have been living under a rock, basically the new season with the Wusa comes to PC and console as of December 14th, which is a few days from now. And yeah, everyone can get a chance to try it. I think the Global Lab is only open for, I guess, until the class releases, then there's no reason to be there. But with that said, it's cool stuff we get to try out later on. And I love how half of it is in English and half of it is not in English, though. I've been playing this game long enough to know what the pictures are. Like these are the tier nine horses we get to try them out. But anyway, with that said, what we're here for this video is all the skills. So we're going to try them out and just see what they look like. I'll show you the demos and then we'll try them. Um, and see what I think is good, what is hot keyable, what isn't, and so on. So Awakening, not even there yet. So <laughs> nothing to show. But yeah, let's see what all of these look like. So this is your default attack. The, uh, wait, hold on. Default. Um, can I use my skills in here? Do I have a weapon equipped? Good. All right. Imagine YOLOing a Tet Fallen God. Oh, wait, that's just open. Never mind. You get it for free. Okay, I thought people were enhancing on the global labs. I was like, what are you doing? All right, anyway, your default attack. What does it look like? You throw a fan. That's pretty cool. E is your air attack, down attack. You throw butterflies. That's pretty cool, actually. So far. I love classes that are flashy. That's why I chose Dark Knight, actually. It was because of their flashy abilities, not necessarily top tier damage or anything. So, right mouse is like a lot of flashy abilities. Ooh, you get to teleport. Are we playing another Sork? Oh no, boys. That's pretty cool. Down right mouse is a fan down and flutter kick. So down and up right mouse. Before we get into anything further, before we get into like the wild combos. I I like Dark Knight. I've gotten used to it. I like most classes that don't have a lot of down attacks. Like Valkyrie is just not for me. Like it's, it's weird on the keyboard. So let's see. Up. Oh, that's flashy. Up right mouse, down right mouse. Does that only work? Is like an enemy nearby? Space after other skills. Okay, so like... Combo. Cool. 
Um, kaleidoscope swirl. Shift left mouse. We're playing Sork plus uh, Sashin. Oh, God. That's actually really cool, though. I like that. Let's, uh... Can we hotkey that one? Slots. Oh, yeah, we're using absolutes. Okay. Down E is a Thunderstroke. Wizards and witches are in shambles. That's cool, actually. <laughs> okay. Okay. Yo, these skills are flashy. I think I might like this class. Okay, so down F as a cloud carve. Um, hold F after fan kick. Okay, so down F and hold F. Uh, down left mouse button and up E. Oh my God, do I have like infinite potions or just potions in general? Let me just put on some gear anyway. Why not? Um, does it give me potions at all? What are these? Sailor stuff. Fishing costumes and our bands. Man, you know, maybe one day they'll just give us fat loot scrolls and that would be nice. Oh, that's energy, I think. Bruh. Gives you everything but the infinite potions. Excellent. Alright, well. <laughs> yeah. If I can get a Fallen God armor for one billion silver, that would be, like, the nicest thing. Alright, anyway, back to the skills. Down E. Where were we? Okay, so we do this. This is up E now. That's kind of cool, actually. I'm gonna be honest, this seems like it's gonna be a good grinder. new tag i don't know man like i like my sage but this one is looking pretty cool it doesn't have too many down attacks which is good good um stormfall is a wait hold on okay so this one is a shift e this one is a shift q and cloud rise is shift er Right mouse. Cool. Okay, so shift E. I think we saw that one. Shift Q. Oh, wait, hold on. Gotta get more mana. Okay, shift Q. Bruh. Bruh. Okay, I think we're getting a new tag, boys. And then this one is shift right mouse. Man, that's so cool, but you know what scares me? RBF with that. People already sit on the roof in RBF and just like spam, so. Imagine getting hit with that, or getting hit by that with someone with, like, 330 AP. That's scary. Okay, so Q is their Q buff. That's good. Um, 
Okay, so if you Q and then L and B. The combo. Shift space, kind of like DK's Dusk. Movement like Dark Knight. Voltaic po Pulse. Kind of like that. Dude, this is like literally all the classes combined. A little bit of a Hasashin, Wizard, Witch, Dark Knight, Zork. It's cool. Um, so let's see. Let's actually see all this. What does this one give? Because every class has their own passives that they have like unique to everything. So let me just remove all of them. Actually, let's look at it. So it gives HP and AP. AP, more AP. HP, AP. Okay, so this seems like, you know how Dark Knights give accuracy, like ninjas and kunos get evasion and all that stuff. This one's just straight damage and AP. Blast cannon, potentially. Uh, your passive is stamina. It's not the worst thing. Drain skills heal allies and sell from heat stroke and burn effects. Drenched in rain. Okay, so this is the unique thing that all classes have. So immunity from heat stroke when you're grinding in the desert in 2023. Got it. To be honest, the Sage literally has the best passive. It lets you go into Achman, Histria, Katuga, and Sakraya for free. That literally is just the best passive of all the classes. Nothing else beats it. And this one just gives you immunity from heat stroke. Why not like hypothermia while you're at it? Um so my impressions of this is this is a pretty cool thing. Let's try, let me hold on. Let me try this again. It's shift right mouse with hold right mouse. Okay. I have a feeling I'm going to like this one. So yeah, in my opinions of all the skills that we have, just not even awakening already, but that looks pretty good. I think I enjoy the skills. It has a lot of big AoEs. This is going to be a cool grinder. Oh, nice, an energy point. Nice mobility. Yeah, it really does move like Dark Knight in a way. It doesn't have... It doesn't have too many down attacks. has a lot of flashy abilities that's cool big aoe's also very good i just hope that they do balance it for pvp it looks pretty good all right so that's how all the abilities that they have for release um, uh, wait, what is this? Turn them into a black spirit illusion. Hey. What? Okay, let's look at the weapons right now. They're probably... Swallowtail fan, the Black Star. Same stats as the usual. Looks cool. Very good. And yeah, with that said, I'm going to 
wrap up this video just because we wanted to see the skills and everything. But um, next time, we'll probably do something else. Uh, let's just... Bruh. Tell me that's not going to get obnoxious in PvP when you're... Literally, Lon and Sork, but... All right, yeah, we're tagging this class probably. If we're playing it on season, we're gonna have fun. And I will see you guys next time. Hope you enjoyed the video.